Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilling. Hope you are doing well. Hope you are safe and you are staying indoors. During this period of lockdown, uh, I had a chance to go through all our YouTube comments. A lot of you had asked us to guide you through a student's journey when he takes up a Skilling master course. So we thought we could create a separate series called Skilling Student Success Series. And uh, this is the first video of it. So in this series, we'll basically take a particular master course explain how you as a student will go through the whole journey and give you a few example success stories that has happened because of this particular master's program. In this first video, we are going to look at our computational fluid dynamics engineer master's program. This master program has five courses. It has introduction to computational fluid dynamics using MATLAB and OpenFOAM, advanced CFD using ANSYS Fluent, computational conversion using Python and Cantera, advanced IC engine simulations using Converge CFD, and IC engine calibration using GT power. How do we structure this course? The introduction to computational fluid dynamics using MATLAB and OpenFOAM is a fundamental coursework. It allows you to understand the basic concepts behind fluid mechanics and what are the governing equations, what is discretization, what types of uh, discretization are there. And once you understand that, you implement that in MATLAB and you do the same using OpenFOAM as well. This builds up a very good fundamental understanding of fluid mechanics. Suppose that when you go into a tool like ANSYS Fluent, you understand what is happening behind any button you click on ANSYS Fluent, right? So that's what you will be doing in ANSYS Fluent. You, in ANSYS Fluent, you look into various types of problems, multi-phase flow, uh, two-phase flows, conjugate heat transfer, turbulence modeling, um, thermal, uh, uh, thermal flows. So you will have a different types of analysis that you will be performing in ANSYS Fluent. This particular course gives you a very good understanding of computational conversion. Once that happens, you take the fundamentals that you understood in the computational conversion course and apply it in the IC engine simulations course. IC engine simulations using Converge CFD is a advanced 3D simulation course using Converge. So here you look into turbulence modeling, combustion modeling, emission modeling, and spray modeling, right? and you will be working on two projects. Then you look into IC engine calibration using GT power. GT power is a 1D tool and you will understand how you as a calibration engineer need to do IC engine calibration. So if you see this particular course, the way it is structured is the first course gives uh, a very good fundamental. The second course, you apply that fundamental. The third course gives advanced fundamental on combustion. You apply that advanced fundamental in an IC engine course. And the fifth course is about calibrations of IC engine. So you learn 1D solver, 2D and a 3D solver by the end of this course. Industries look for you to know one 1D tool, a 2D solver and a 3D solver. If you have an understanding of all the three solvers, your ability to get into an industry as a computational fluid dynamics engineer is really high. So what happens to students who do our masters in CFD coursework? Well, they get recruited in the industry for their skill sets. First one uh, I wanted to highlight is Rajesh Putru. Rajesh was a mechanical engineer, undergrad pass out in 2018. He had a GPA of 7.8. He's a fresher with a, he took our CFD masters course and uh, he got a job at, with a 5 lakh CTC at, uh, as a GET at LTI in their automotive and aerospace uh, domain. So if you want to, what is one thing that Rajesh did in common to get this role, right? So Rajesh worked on a lot of projects. So if you take a look at it, this is Rajesh profile. This URL is shareable. So for example, if you're seeing this particular uh, video, all you can do is go to projects.skilling.com and search for Rajesh and you will see Rajesh portfolio and the, these are projects that Rajesh has worked on. So for example, if you click on conjugate heat transfer analysis on graphics card, I can see the uh, detailed report of Rajesh and this is what recruiters look at as well. So Rajesh knows what are the boundary conditions, what kind of pre-processing uh, in the geometry needs to be done and what does the whole analysis take into account? What are the boundary conditions, right? And he performs a detailed analysis and writes a detailed report. Now think about it, right? If you are a recruiter, if you are seeing this uh, particular profile, you will be interested in knowing more about Rajesh and you will basically give him an interview opportunity, right? And that is what happened with Rajesh as well. So Rajesh got multiple interview opportunities at multiple companies and now he's working as a GET at LTI with a 5 lakh CTC. So this is Rajesh profile. Rajesh is a fresher with a 7.8 GPA. He passed in 2018 in Savita Engineering College.
So I thought I should show you another profile, which is Shresha. Shresha took our coursework after he finished his master's at UT Dallas. He is a mechanical engineer, 2016 passer from UG, finished his uh, master's in 2019. And then uh, while he was doing his master's, he took up our uh, coursework, uh, our CFD master's coursework. His GPA in undergrad was around uh, 7.8 to 8. He was an, a fresher in experience after finishing his MTech. And right now, he's a senior design engineer at OpenSo with a $65,000 annual CTC. So this is Shrey's profile. You basically take a look at Shrey's profile. This is, you can again, go to Project Start Skilling, search for Shrey, and uh, you can see the projects that Shrey Shah has worked on. And uh, this is the difference, right? When you work on these many projects, increases your ability to get an interview. Getting an interview is the first step. The second step is doing really well in the interview. So that's where our customer success team and our student success team works with you to make sure you are good at fundamentals, you are good at the tool, and we provide you mock interviews to do really well in the interview as well. Right? So this is Shrey's profile. Then I wanted to speak about Ruthwick. Ruthwick again is a fresher, 2019 pass out. He has a GPA of 8.4. What he did was he took up our CFD master's course. And currently he got a job as a junior CAE modeler at RLE International for Ford. So he currently works with Ford Motors. Right? This is Ruthwick's profile. So again, you can see Ruthwick has this good portfolio in our projects page. And uh, these are the different types of uh, projects that he has worked on. So let me click on exhaust manifold conjugate heat transfer analysis. Again, very similar to what you saw with uh, Rajesh. Ruthwick again has a detailed report on the project that he has worked on, right? So the next profile that I wanted to speak about is Shreyas. Shreyas right now has a three lakh CTC and uh, he works at Foresha as a CFD engineer. He previously had seven month experience after passing out in 2019. Again, very similar to all the other students that you have. Shreyas also has a very strong portfolio of projects that he showcased. And that is one of the reasons he got into Foresha. So here is Shreyas profile. And uh, you can basically take a look at what projects that Shreyas has worked on. And uh, for example, if I click on the Ahmed body challenge. So every project has a detailed objective scope. What is the software used? What is the introduction to the project? What is the idea behind the whole project and why they are doing it? A detailed analysis of the project is expected. And this is what gives a holistic understanding for every student who takes up a skilling coursework, right? This is what is expected if you become a skilling student as well. These kind of reports is what helps students get a really high quality jobs, right? So you need to think about this, right? This one project that I'm showing is one project in one coursework. So every course has four projects. And if you take up a master course, you basically work on 20 projects, 15 to 20 projects. And think about the portfolio that you will have once you finish the whole master course. And that portfolio is what will propel you towards your career, right? The next one I wanted to speak to you was Fani Chandra. Fani again is a 2017 pass out. He had two years of experience in quality and wanted to move domains. So a lot of students want to do this as well. They have quality, production, repair, maintenance uh, kind of profiles and want to kind of move into CAE or a CFD or an engineering domain. If you are someone like that, you can definitely take up our master coursework. So funny was like that. And funny is a great example. So he took up our CFD masters and he's right now working as a GET at ESI. So again, very similar. Funny also has the same kind of profile that you can basically take a look at with any skilling student. So this profile is not only specific for funny or the students that I'm showing you. Any skilling student basically has the same kind of profile because this is what is expected. Our support engineers will make sure you work on these kind of projects and post it in your projects.skilling.com, right? So this is what is expected out of you. So what happens, right? So what happens? How did they succeed? So everyone enrolled in a master course. What happens in a master course? If you take an individual course, you definitely will get a skill, but the continuity of the skill is what you get with a master course. So over a period of five years courses, you spend at least 800 to 1000 hours in understanding the domain and working on the 15 plus projects, right? And this thousand hours 
will help you develop a strong portfolio very similar to the portfolios that i showed before this will help you develop very strong portfolios how do we prepare you for an interview we help you with tool test for every tool that we have we provide you a tool test we provide mock interviews of the technical questions that the, you will be facing in the interview then you basically do this repetitively until you are really good at it once you are good at it we start sending you for interviews if you apply to the interviews like we say you get recruited in a core mechanical engineering company similar to the profiles that i showed before so this is our part one uh, where we explain about the computational fluid dynamics masters uh, in the next part we will basically look into our computer aided engineering cae masters program until then thanks for taking a look at these videos if you have any questions please post it in the comments thank you guys